Week 5 kicked off Kansas State's final Big 8 season. Next year, Kansas State goes to the Big 12. But in the final Big 8 season of all time, Kansas State put its unbeaten mark on the field at KSU Stadium's Wagner Field, Snyder Sanctuary, against the Missouri Tigers. And it would prove to be a history-making afternoon at Snyder Sanctuary as the powerful Kansas State defense looked to keep its shutout string intact. Much like the week before, the Wildcat offense went into halftime with just one touchdown on the scoreboard. But in the third quarter, Kansas State got it rolling, following another big play from the defense, this time by freshman linebacker Travis Oates. Force will throw in a straight drop. Throws a delay route, and the pass is broken up, nearly intercepted. No, it is intercepted. K-State picks it up. Four plays later, Eric Hickson rumbled in from five yards out, giving Kansas State a two-touchdown lead, and the route was on. Hickson added another touchdown run that was followed by a Martin Gramatica field goal. And the Wildcats closed out the scoring on a 22-yard pass from Matt Miller to tight end Brian Loy. K-State first and 10 at the 22. Single back is Lawrence. No, Miller's going to throw it. Forget about running the clock out. They've got a man open. Loik, a touchdown on a deep route. The former Manhattan Indian hauls in the catch, and the tight end finds the end zone, and K-State leads 29-0. K-State cruised to its fifth straight win, dumping the Missouri Tigers 30 to nothing. And by throwing its third straight shutout, the 1995 K-State defense became the first Wildcat team to do so since 1933. They became the first Big 8 team to accomplish the feat since 1979. And in the three-game homestand, Kansas State outscored its opponents by a whopping 141 to nothing. Six saw Kansas State back on the road again for a second time this season. And much like at Cincinnati, it was a game that wasn't going to be easy. This time the location was Stillwater, Oklahoma, and the opponent was a fired up Cowboy squad celebrating homecoming festivity. Kansas State took an 11 point lead midway through the third quarter after Miller hooked up with Tyson Schweiger on a 12 yard touchdown pass. Oklahoma State rallied and scored consecutive touchdowns to take a three-point lead in the fourth quarter. K-State, though, came back and took the lead for good when Miller teamed up with tight end Brian Loika to reclaim the lead. Oklahoma State leads Kansas State here. The play-action fake, they roll right. Loika's got it at the 10-yard line. Tucks the football, he's at the five, lowers the shoulder. He's into the end zone, touchdown, Brian Loika. A boot pass to the tight end. It's an 18-yard touchdown. The Cowboys had one last chance, but defensive end Niall Wyron put an end to those hopes when he sacked Cowboy quarterback Craig Strickland in the end zone for another safety. In the end, eighth-ranked Kansas State had improved to 6-0 for the first time since 1910, with a 23-17 victory over Oklahoma State. In the last four seasons, no team in the Big 8 Conference had played powerful national champion Nebraska tougher than Kansas State. And on this battle in Lincoln on October 21st, it looked as if Kansas State might do it again. After stuffing the Huskers on a three and out on the first possession, things went awry for Kansas State as Nebraska used a 79-yard punt return for a touchdown. The Huskers also had a fumble recovery of their own fumble in the end zone for a touchdown. Plus, they added a three-yard interception return to open up a 35-6 halftime lead over Kansas State. But the story for Bill Snyder and Kansas State football over the years has been they'll never quit, and Kansas State didn't quit in this game. The Cats rallied for 19 unanswered second-half points. Behind the arm, a quarterback, Brian Cavanaugh. First down, goal to go for Kansas State at the seven-yard line. Out of the shotgun set. Here comes the blitz. Kavanaugh throws in front of the blitz. Pass caught by running. Stretches for it. Touchdown, Kansas State. K-State almost with as much total offense as Nebraska in this game. 298 to 240. Kavanaugh third and goal. Throws for the goal line. Touchdown. Deep curl to Kevin Lockett. New punter in there now for Nebraska. The Huskers put Bill LaFleur in to punt. And now the punt is blocked. The ball is loose at the five. Picked up by Kansas State. Touchdown, Wildcats. Kansas State's valiant effort against the two-time national champions fell short as K-State's 11-game regular season winning streak was snapped. Nebraska handling the Wildcats their first loss, 49-25.
One of the great rivalries in college football down through the years has been the Kansas State-Kansas battle. 1995 had set the stage for what was called the greatest Kansas State-Kansas football game of all time. Now, after falling to a 6-1 record with the loss to Nebraska, K-State had returned home to Snyder's Sanctuary to battle the arch-rival and hated Jayhawks. The Jayhawks were ranked sixth in the nation. There was a record crowd on hand in Manhattan. And Kansas State's defense rose early to the occasion and hammered the Kansas offensive attack early and often. Williams with time. Now the time dissipates and Purcell Gaskin sacks him back at the 15-yard line. The tone for the game was set on the opening punt try by Kansas' Darren Simmons. He's third in the nation in punting and has done an outstanding job. A low snap that is fumbled by Simmons. He is in the end zone trying to chase the football, and it is going to be a safety for Kansas State. Darren Simmons to try to punt for the second time this afternoon. Another low snap, and now Simmons has to get the football, and it's blocked. It is blocked up in the air, taken by Conley. The ball is still loose and flying around at the 39. It's out of bounds to Kansas State at that point. Kansas, no, uh, no, zero, four on third down conversions out of the shotgun. Williams, again being pressured, steps up. He's going to be hit and sack at the 17-yard line. No question, he's done a great job. Mark Williams to throw, taking a pass that is intercepted after being tipped. Gaskins with the interception at the 35. A rather bird at the bottom of your screen. Second and 15, Williams is hit. He's sacked at the 24-yard line. Tim Colston, the All-American, right up the shoot. Kansas State's offense, meanwhile, simply steamrolled the Jayhawks from start to finish. And the Wildcat running backs, Eric Hickson and Mike Lawrence, each topped 100 yards in this game. The first pair of K-State backs to accomplish that feat since 1979. Matt Miller changing the play at the line of scrimmage. Wants to throw, fires Lockett wide open, touchdown Kansas State, Kevin Lockett. Fourth down, let's call it two at the 20 yard line. Matt Miller wants to throw the football. He's going to throw it long for the end zone. The pass is caught, touchdown Kevin Lockett. Forget the first down, go for the business. Kansas State moving with the win in the second quarter, but he's got third and 15. Under center, Kavanaugh throwing for running on the near side. Running, has it, touchdown. Mitch running, holds it in. Second down and goal to go as Johnson up over the football to snap it to Matt Miller. This is Lawrence diving in for a touchdown. Mike Lawrence with the touchdown. K-State threatening again. Second down and five. Miller pitching. This is Hickson. He attacks the corner. He's got a touchdown. Kansas had come into the game averaging 232 yards rushing, but managed to scrape out, get this, 19 yards on 30 carries while Kansas quarterback Mark Williams was sacked eight times and was hurried countless other times. In the biggest Kansas State-Kansas game of all time, Kansas State simply dominated the game from start to finish, rolling to a 41-7 victory. 